Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to do the most important section, and you will see that in our syllabus, this is section D, and many students have been asking me to do this section. Um, this section is very important, and um, it's about efficiency. So, when you talk about efficiency, you will see we start by doing efficiency, and that's exactly what, how I call it myself. I just call it efficiency in consumption, in consum, consumption, and then efficiency in production, right? So therefore, you can see that this is actually typical macro, uh, microeconomics because we talk about consumption, which is household, and then we talk about um, production, which is uh, the firm side. Now, because we are talking about efficiencies here, is that we are saying we do not want to waste resources. We want to satisfy the consumers, that is the consumption side, and then we want to utilize the resources to their maximum, um, uh, 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 that is the production side. So therefore, I'm going to have two gen okay, well, I'm going to have a gentleman and a lady here, and the gentleman's name is, is John, and then, and then a lady's name is, 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 is Mary. Right. So, obviously, these guys, for us to satisfy them, we must satisfy them with uh, goods and services. And the goods that we are going to talk about, the products that we are going to talk about, they are um, um, being produced by firms. So now we come to the production. Here, the products now, we're talking about necessities, and I just said neck for necessities. And then, and then, and then, and then luxuries. And then I say lux for luxuries. Because I want to be in accordance with your prescribed textbook. Right. So, what happens now is, we start with the consumption. And I'm going to draw two quotation planes here. The first plane, I'm going to put it here. And then the second one, I'm going to put it here. So, you know, I mean, that this line that is going up, we call it a vertical line. And the one that is going this way, we call it the horizontal line. Now, the first ones, this one here, we say, this one is John. John Steigren. And then this side, this is going to be Mary Steigren. Now you can understand that. So, let me label my axis so that you can see how it works. The first axis here is, um, okay, let me start this origin, this origin. The first axis down here is necessities, and then I write neck. Necessities are like, necessities are like essentials at home, like papa, or bread, or whatever necessity you have at home. And then we have luxuries as well. Probably luxuries will be your iPhones and your BMWs and your Audis and the stuff like that. And then, same thing applies here. These are necessities and then these are luxuries. Now, what is going to happen here is now, I'm going to be very quick because now you are familiar with all these things. So, I'm going to draw the first indifference cap and I'll call it Total utility J1. J1 here means John 1. So this is the lowest um, 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 uh, indifference curve for John. And then I'm going to throw the second one here. This is going to be total utility J2. So now you understand that actually what you need to do is you need to go, to go, to go, to go, to go this way. So if you want to increase John's utility, or John satisfaction, you must give him any combination that is on the higher indifference curve. So I'm going to do the same on Mary's one, and then this is Mary, and then I say total utility Mary one, total utility M one, and then if you want to increase the satisfaction, here is going to be total utility M two, right? So 
Now, what I'm going to do is we want to be efficient. We don't want to waste the resources. Now, how do we make sure that we allocate these resources efficiently to the two, to these two guys? So what happens is we are going to throw John's plane or John's diagram. And that is the origin of John. And then this is the horizontal of John. The horizontal of John was luxury. And then the, horizon, the, 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 the vertical of John was necessities. Now, I am going to rotate Mary's one. And if I rotate Mary's one, is that the vertical is here. I'm going to rotate it. Probably is 180 degrees. So you rotate it so that it comes and the vertical, the vertical now will, 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 will be this one. And this is the vertical line for Mary. And, and this vertical is still what? It's still necessity. And then the horizontal is, is this one here. So now, but now this way it's been rotated. So therefore, now we can see that now this is luxury. So this will be origin M, 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 origin M, so which is origin of Mary. So now you can see that I just rotated the diagram of Mary so that it forms this box here. And the name of this box is called Edge Worth Box. Edge Worth Box. Now, what is happening in this Edge Worth Box? What is happening is this. We are saying that, number one, let us put the indifference curves of John. And I'm going to put the first one here. That is total utility, J1. And then total utility, J2. And then, now, let me put the ones for Mary. Now for Mary, now the lowest one now, look how I'm drawing it. And it's very important that you look how it works. I will draw it here so that it creates a tangency here. There's a tangent point here. And this is what total utility, Mary 1. And then now you can see that when I increase the total utility of Mary, now I'm coming this side. And then I'll draw the second one here. And then it's what? Total utility, Mary 2. So I'm just doing M1, M2, but you can actually put T U M1, T U M2, and so on. So if you look at this tangency here, remember these are the total utility curves. So if these are the total utility curves, therefore it means what? It means the slope of any difference curve is M R S. Now, now if you look at these two now, we can see that now the marginal rate of substitution for one product for other is exactly the same for both because if you want to really want to find the slopes of this you draw the tangent line here and the tangent line that you draw here you can see that it's tangent to this it's tangent to that you draw the other one here you can see that now it tells you that the slopes are the same so if the slopes are the same it means the marginal rate of substitution of necessities for luxury is the same for john and for mary Right. So once now the marginal rate of substitutions are the same, it means now that is where I need to produce. So it means what? It means that if John's total utility is J2, therefore Mary's one must be M1. Otherwise now we will have a problem because it won't be at this point. So what is going to happen now is what is going to happen now is we are now going to join this line here which is called oj and then i'll draw it to the first point of efficiency and then i'll extend it to the second point of efficiency and then i will extend it here to the um, uh, origin of mary so therefore this line is called a contraction line contraction line is the line of efficiency so therefore it means what it means any point within this box for as long as it is not on this line at which line? Line O, J, O, M. 
Therefore, it means what? It means that now, any point that is not on OJ, OM, which is this contraction line, is not efficient point. It means inefficiency. So, therefore, it means I must make sure that if John goes for J1, I make sure that now Mary must go for M2. But if John goes for M2, for J2, therefore Mary must go for that. So that I end up here at the point of tangency. So therefore, it means this is equilibrium 1, this is equilibrium 2. And I mean, you can play around with this to see if you really understand what is going on there. I'm just going to draw it again on the next page so that we can see whether we really understand what I am doing here. Now, what I'm going to do now is remember, this is luxury, this is necessity. So, now, I'm going to close it to make it the edge with box and then O, J, O, M. So, remember, now, if John's one is J1, which is what you are seeing here, J1, that is the, the, the total utility care for John. And then Mary's one is also M1. Can you see now? Mary's one is M1. So, if it's in this case now, you can see that there's no tangency. But there's a point of equality here where the two can intersect at this point A. Now, if you look at this, there's no tangency here. Therefore, this point here represents, and, and I'll just put a right here to say, point A represents what? Inefficiency. Now we see inefficiency now. This is an inefficiency point. So therefore, it means what? It means now here, we are not being efficient. We are not allocating the resources efficiently. So, and I believe that um, you really understand what I, 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 I did here. You really understand what I did here because if you, you look at this, it will pave a way for you to the next lecture, which is going to be uh, um, efficiency in production. So what we have ju just done now is efficiency in consumption. And I want you to play around with this. Let me uh, just end it here. And then I believe that um, by revising this many times, you will get the concept and then you will begin to understand that the story is just to equalize the too marginal rate of substitution. So I urge you to play this again and again until you really understand what is going on. Thank you very much.